Well, the Utah Arts Festival back in action after taking a year off because of COVID-19. Like everything else, mm -hmm. but now it's back. Fox 13's Lexi Johnson tells us what this means for the city as well as the artists. I hope it's good news here, Lexi. Hey, good morning, Dan and April. Yeah, in a little under an hour, Library Square is going to be packed with people. So the Utah Arts Festival is a huge economic boom, not only for downtown Salt Lake City, but for the artists showcasing their, showcasing their work as well. So 95 visual artists, 50 to 60 live performers, and 40 literary performers will be showing off their talents this weekend. For some artists, this will be their first show since the pandemic. Pop surrealist artist Chris Bodley says festivals like this are his bread and butter. There's online stores and things like that, but having a, a live event that you can come and interact with the people, uh, it's it's you're, you're so much more successful uh, in being able to share your artwork uh, because you have that that interpersonal connection. You can kind of express yourself and, and meet with people and things like that. Bodily is joined by painters, jewelry makers, pottery artists, and more during the three-day event, as well as 18 food booths. All artist booths are spaced 10 feet apart, and festival organizers are encouraging people to social distance when possible and follow CDC guidelines. So the festival runs today and tomorrow from noon until 11 p.m., and then from noon until 9 p.m. on Sunday. If you would like to get tickets, you can do so online at UAF.org. You can also get them at the gates for 15 bucks. Live in Salt Lake, Lexi Johnson, Fox 13 News, Utah.